It's 11.43 and you feel your stomach growl. You look to the kitchen with kind of a scowl. What is to eat? I need a treat. Today's video is all the cooking DIY recipes you could possibly eat. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force, and I'm so hungry. I'm shocked that I did that off the cuff. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoy these videos and let me know in the comments down below what recipe you like most in this game. Yep, I am going to cook you up everything you can cook in this game. The ones you can get from fish and show you, tell you how to get them. The ones you can get from your villager friends. The ones you can shoot down from the balloons above. The ones that you get from the recipe packs and I'm just gonna fill your tummy. Now I do got another cooking video. If you wanna know more of the ins and outs of cooking and how to make it happen and where you can do it inside, outside, all over this darn island. So check that out. I'll put a link in the description down below. But we got 110 recipes to go through. So let's get working. So let's start it off by saying I really love cooking. Cooking kind of gets a bad rap because like it's just energy. But I think the idea here is so good. And I love that there's so many sweet recipes, so many savory recipes. And I love that there's recipes that include so many different ingredients besides just the crops. Where are the extra crops, by the way? Didn't Nintendo say, and more crops? And then there weren't really and more crops. But I do love that we got veggie cookies. It's basically Vegemite. I don't know. These look freaking filthy. I have a lot of, you know, vegan good stuff. But these look, I mean, they're just straight up tomato cookies. <laughs> But while y'all dream, but while y'all dream of a pumpkin bagel sandwich or an organic bread box or just some straight up gross tomato puree, I'm gonna show you all of them. All right, so let's find a nice spot to sit on my messy island with Marsh in the background, being like, "This place is too messy for me." 2.0 has changed you, my man. It's made you a messy, messy boy. I do love my chef hat though, and I'm gonna sit down on that, and we're gonna take a peek at the receipts. All right, I got all the receipts you could possibly want. There's possibly one in that balloon right there, but we got to get going. All right, let me know which of these is your favorite in those comments down below. The Aji Fry. All right, so the Aji Fry requires the horse mackerel. I love that fishing has a new purpose. They didn't expand the Critopedia, but you can get some of these receipts in the ocean. All right, so that's a nice little fish dish there. We got the Anchoas Al Ajio. And forgive my pronunciation, I'm really hungry. It's almost snack time in the Palace du Switch Force. This one requires the anchovy, another little fish recipe there. Apple jam. That's not going to require any fish. The apple fish? I, I don't think that exists. This one's just three apples. <laughs> baked potatoes looking kind of lovely. And it also says if you want to freeze frame these, where you can find them. So like baked potatoes are found by villagers cooking in their home or the restaurant facility in Happy Home Paradise because you can cook up and order, which is such a nice little extra for those facilities over there on the archipelago. Bamboo shoot soup is from Daisy May. Did you know that Daisy May actually drops off a little knowledge from her cookbook and her probably her grandma's cookbook? Ah, the barred knife jaw carpaccio. This borrows the barred knife jaw for a meal. It's sort of sad that we borrowed the fish from the sea for our own pleasure, but I guess welcome to eating as a human. Bread. It's just straight up bread. You can make some bread. You can make some bread gratin. All right, I've been practicing my fancy food words. You guys should do it too in front of a mirror with flashcards. It's the best way to learn. Brown sugar, one of the basic cooking recipes you get at Nook's Cranning. Carpaccio de capacente, all right? This has some scallops in it. Uh, which is pretty cool, but you obviously know where you get those. The Carpaccio the Marlin Blue is actually a blue Marlin fish. I love how many fish there are. Now I'm just waiting for the bug recipes. Chocolate crickets, anyone? I mean, come on, that one at least works. Carpaccio de Salmone requires a salmon, the carrot bagel sandwich. <laughs> Man, I love cinnamon crunch bagel, blueberry bagel, even an everything bagel if the time is right. A freaking carrot bagel. Ugh. Carrot potage, all right, the carrot tops curry. That looks pretty nice, like that big old fat piece of naan. Naan is very delicious bread. Uh, champignones a la higo. Doesn't require uh, anything, but it is a very like mushroomy dish, which is interesting, very November-y for those of you who are hunting for all those shrooms beneath the trees. Cherry jam is pretty nice. Clam chowder is actually going to be from Turkey Day Recipes book. It's coming. There's a special Turkey Day Recipes book, which is pretty neat. It's already in the game. You can time travel if you want, but you can wait and Chuckles will have, I mean, Franklin will have it all ready for you. That's his name, the turkey. I know him. I know him. Coconut oil. Straight up coconut oil. I use that actually in cooking. It's actually pretty healthy. We got your classic fish and chips, all right? It does require a dab, but apparently it is not going to be unlocked via the dab. Flour, of course. French fries. Fruit pizza, interesting pizza, apple pizza, orange pizza, all right, kind of nice. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Noki de carote, pretty good right there. Uh, noki di patate, all right, that is a basic cooking recipe right there, those potatoes and flour. Noki di zucca, all right, that one has some orange pumpkins. Mm, very hearty dish, I can already smell it from here. The gratin, again, a turkey day recipe. The grilled sea bass with herbs. 
where the herbs are five clumps of weeds. Now that sounds a little bit noxious. Anyhow, jarred bamboo shoots is another one from Daisy May. Daisy May delivering a lot of good recipes here. Pretty interesting. Jarred mushrooms. You want to put things away for the winter season. Kabu on kake. Another Daisy May specialty. Kare new Kare no Nitsuki. This one is from catching a dab. And that dab, he does not look too pleased to be there. He got X'd like a piece of sourdough bread. Anyways, minestrone soup. Good little soup. Mixed fruits bagel sandwich. Who in their right mind is putting freaking apple slices and banana slices between their bagel bites? That's very, very odd, but okay. A mixed fruit sandwich. This is for the kid who just doesn't want to eat meat, apparently. Just wants straight up sugar. The mushroom, mushroom crepe. Okay, safe for the crepes are a thing. Gotta accept it. Mushroom curry. Mushroom pizza. Mushroom potage. Mushroom salad. You can see we're in the mushroom category, but this is very relevant as those mushrooms are here during the hearty season of November. The olive flounder mignore is another turkey day recipe. It does require an olive flounder, but you're gonna have to pick this one up from Chuckles. The orange marmalade. Nice little storage recipe. The organic bread. Interesting. Peach jam. Pear jam. Pesque al aqua paza. And this one is by catching a red snapper. So get that snap and get your get your dish on. The pickled veggies. All right. The pizza margarita, aka margarita pizza. The poke is by catching a salmon, which is really nice. The potato curry. More naan. Mm, I need that warm food. You ever have a craving for just like you want warm food? Sometimes you just want cold food. Like I just need some juice. I just need something chilly like some juice. Do they have juice? They have lots of juice. They have all sorts of fruit juices here. Potato galette or galette. Potato potage, P potato to potato. There's every word that rhymes potato is a recipe in this game. Pull, oh, pull apart bread, man. Get some honey butter on there, maybe some apple butter. Just dip it. You know that you're dipping more than once. Let's just let you try to be as professional and as like courteous as you might be, but you know you're dipping that pull apart bread more than once. The pumpkin bagel sandwich. Why it's always in between instead of just changing the flavor of the bagel, I don't know. The pumpkin curry. The pumpkin pie is another turkey day recipe. The pumpkin soup. The salad, just straight salads, just generic, your chef salad. Salad, stuffed tomato. They're just stuffing things where they don't belong. This is a very strange phenomenon in Animal Crossing cooking. Everything's just stuffed inside something else. Salad de carrots rapes. Interesting name. The salmon bagel sandwich from catching a salmon. I like that. All right, now we're doing something that feels a little bit more appropriate with our bagels. The salmon sandwich is also unlocked by catching a salmon. Now, this is very interesting. I'm guessing you're gonna get these at different times catching the salmon. I can't imagine they do two at once. I think they'll give you two separately. Sardines in oil is another anchovy recipe that sounds vomitrocious. Um, I hope you get the other one. But yes, you can get sardines oil with the anchovy catch. You got an olive flounder sauteed style from the olive flounder. Uh, you got some savory bread. This looks like a nice basket. I wanna dip that stuff as well. The sea bass pie. They baked that poor sea bass straight into a pie. Man, you're going over to grandma's. You said you'd bring dessert and you brought sea bass pie. She thought it'd be banana cream, maybe pumpkin, maybe freaking pecan if you were lucky, but instead she got sea bass pie. The seafood ajillo, the seafood pizza, the seafood salad, the seaweed soup, all right? The snack bread. I love the, I love all these different breads. You got snack bread, you got savory bread, all, all sorts of breads. I appreciate it. I mean, we got to use up the flour and the sugar. The spaghetti marinara, the spaghetti napolitan, the squid ink curry by catching a squid. Is that a punishment? Squid ink, oh, squid ink spaghetti. Please someone tell me if they've ever had this. Squid, mm. It's a no judgment zone, I'm just saying. Squid ink spaghetti. Just like. Sugar. Tomatoes al ajillo. Tomato bagel sandwich. The tomato curry, the tomato puree. The turnip salad from Daisy May. The veggie crepe. The veggie quiche, I know that word. The veggie sandwich and the whole wheat flour. Now we're onto the sweet list, okay? Finally, my palate can reset and really salivate. The apple jelly looks amazing. Store a freaking stapler inside of it. The apple pie, love me some classics. Apple smoothie, sounds good. Although I prefer orange juice as my base. The apple tart. Too bad you can't just go and like catch a bunch of tropical fruits to make tropical desserts, that would be great. Brown sugar cupcakes, and they almost look like they have a spooky theme, but they, they don't. That's just the way the little doilies go. Brown sugar pound cake, mm, good old pound cake. That's something that old people like. The cake salé, I don't know what that really is. The carrot cake, I like that. I love, love carrot cake, one of my favorites. Always used to request carrot cake for my birthday. Carrot juice, not so much a favorite. Carrot scones, okay, could be good. Cherry jelly, cherry pie. We're rolling through the fruits in the game. Still salty, they didn't bring us a fruit, get it? Salty, because 
Okay, whatever. Cherry smoothie, love it. Cherry tart, it's literally got straight up cherry wallpaper on the tart. Coconut cookies, coconut milk, coconut pancakes. Finally, a little bit tropical. The coconut pudding. What's up, pudding? Cookies, just, just cookies, just straight up cookies. Frosted cookies, now this one feels special. These aren't a Christmas acquired recipe as far as I'm aware, but maybe they're more prevalent during the Christmas time. They absolutely should be. Those things are getting me in the holly jolly mood already and I haven't even taken a bite of frosted pretzels. Looking nice. Fruit cupcakes, again with the fruit in places they don't really belong. I mean, I guess, I guess. Like fruit in the center of a cupcake, like orange goo in the center, that could be okay. But this is just straight up hunks of the fruit, which is a little bit eccentric. Fruit scones, fruit top pancakes. Now that's a good usage of fruit. The mixed fruits crepe, the mixed fruits pie, the mixed fruits tart, the orange jelly, the orange orange pie, the orange pound, mm, orange pound cake, okay. The orange smooth, the orange tart, the pancakes, the peach jelly, the peach, oh, that looks just absolutely luscious. There's so much flavor in that one, I can just tell. The peach pie, the peach smoothie, the peach tart, the peach jelly, the pear pie, the pear smoothie, the pear tart. You, you get the theme here. We're running through the tart, the smoothie, the pie for every freaking fruit. The plain cupcakes, you know, hey, no frosting. This is just a plain Jane ordeal here. The plain scones. My guy's getting up for some scones. The pound cake, the pretzels. Oh, a big soft pretzel, mm, biting into that. Salty, maybe cheesy. What do you like to dip it in? The pumpkin cupcakes, the pumpkin pound cake, the pumpkin scones, the roost sable cooking. This one is a Brewster specialty and one of the recipes that Brewster will give you after purchasing a cup of coffee in five different days. You can't do five cups of coffee in a row. You gotta do five different days of coffee. Spooky cookies is from Jack during October. This is a new Halloween recipe. It's supposed to be for 2022, but you can go grab it. Now the sugar crepe, the thumbprint jam cookies. Get that at the restaurant, tomato juice. Veggie cookies, again, they back. I have some of those. The veggie cupcakes, all right. A veggie cupcake to me is a little less offensive than veggie cookies, but what's even more offensive is that's the end of the list. 110 recipes, and now you know exactly what you can go and do and cook and make, and it's so good that some of them are acquirable via the sea. I love that. It adds new purpose to my wonderful fish in the ocean. I'm sorry we gotta sacrifice you to make our life delicious, but that is what we're gonna do, and now I'm gonna say, Goodbye. I'm gonna sacrifice this video to you and you let me know in the comments down below your favorite recipe in this game We just rolled through all of them and that's all this game will ever have I bet I don't think there's gonna be another recipe added that is cooking in ACNH complete like I mentioned at the top I got another video if you want to check it out how to make it all happen But for now stay safe stay healthy stay happy stay positive out there I love you all so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day Make sure to hit that like button on your way out It does help out the channel and I love and appreciate all your support. So until next time everybody. Thanks again switch fours out.